What's up, friends? Something that every photographer, filmmaker, or animator would love to have is a slider. This tool allows you to add dynamism and meaning to your shots that otherwise would be completely static. In stop motion is even more dramatic because we can shoot camera on hand and all the camera movements must be as precise as possible. This also applies to time lapse where you have long time shootings, large camera movements and tiny movements between picture and picture. So what I will do right now is to build what I believe is the easiest, cheapest and professional way to motion control your camera movements from your computer. To make it possible I contacted Igus and they gave me all the parts I needed to make this video and I'm not paid to use their products it's just that I, I've been using them for a long time now and I'm happy with them so this is the main rail and this is the slider that fits in this rail this is the first slider I built it's like the traditional way of making something like this with two axes and the four linear friction bearings but that has a problem and the problem is the weight it flexes more in the center than here and here so the movement will be drawing an arc Anyway, it only happens when you mount a big heavy camera or a pan and tilt head that makes all together very heavy. But if you are only using a DSLR, it will be fine. And what works the best for me is that Type U that still has the two axes like the traditional way, but also this connection that reinforces the whole system keeps always the same the same distance between the two let's see and makes it very strong Look at this. There are different sizes of this shape. This is the one we are using now. And this is bigger and that's what I needed for my dolly. That you have seen in other videos. And it depends on what you need and what are you building. For a common slider, this size is okay. You have three options when choosing your slider. The standard one with the friction bearings, then a more precise one that allows you to adjust the friction with these Allen screws here. And finally, the one I recommend you, it's like the standard one, but it has a wheel in a side that what allows you to do is to block the camera in a position. Let's start and I will try to keep everything as simple by using only hand tools. And first thing is installing the motor. And also to keep it simple, I will use a kit that I sell, but you can also find all the components near your home because everything here is from 3D printing machines. So now it's very expanded and affordable and easy to find and here we have an EMA 17 motor with a cable an Arduino an Arduino with a CNC shield and a motor driver with also this plug and play connector for the power with the code red installed 
a USB cable to plug to the computer and a power supply and a manual. First thing we need to do is to attach the motor to one side of the slider. And to do this, I think the best way is using this kind of bracket. It will be here. So we need to drill two holes here to attach it. to build a, a part will be the connection between the two ends of the transmission and I will take two pieces of aluminium and make a type of connection to take the two parts of transmission and keep it together <laughs> All together so first of all we must clean as much as we can 
all the parts. Don't forget inside here, it's lighted very gentle. transmission Slider is finished. Connect the motor, plug the power, the computer, and set the movement in Dragon Frame. Now we are ready to have fun. Yeah. 